early in my career, I was fighting girls that I wasn't supposed to be competitive with. Someone wrote an article and said, this girl, Amanda Serrano, she's definitely the real deal. So we just kept it, Amanda the real deal Serrano. I'm Karim Bhatia, chatting with Amanda Serrano. You are one of the most accomplished fighters of all time. You hold nine different world championships in seven different weight classes. What does that mean to you? No, uh, it means a lot. I mean, I've worked so hard. I have a great team that, you know, guided me down this, this path. What was the journey like to get here? The journey as a female, especially in boxing, we're in a male-dominated sport, so you're always fighting for recognition and equal pay. But it's um, it's gotten better throughout the years. It's funny, when my sister started, it was like <laughs> day and night to when I started. We fought for $1,500. There was times where I was a five-division world champion and not getting paid. What can the sport do to make it better for female boxing? Well, I think they just need to continue to put uh, female boxing on to show that we have very talented women out there. You know, we have skills. And now, especially with the Olympics and amateur girls coming into the professionals, we, we're showing that we can bring people in to, to watch us. You've also fought MMA. So what is the reason that you wanted to try a couple other disciplines? I was a five division world champion and my boxing contract wasn't the greatest. So I had got an offer from an MMA company where the contract was actually decent. I did it and I mean, it was kind of hard. It sparked something in me. I wanted to, to keep trying. I started doing jiu-jitsu every day and I won a gold medal in jiu-jitsu. I love being a champion. I love accomplishing goals. That's what pushes me and motivates me to continue to fight. There's another female boxer in your own family, your sister, Cindy. You are the only two sisters to hold world titles from major sanctioning bodies at the same time. She got me into the sport of boxing. You know, I just saw her growth in the sport and how she went from not knowing anything about boxing to becoming the, the fighter that she is today. I'm still her biggest fan, you know. Every now and then when we spar, she still, you know, teaches me a lesson or two. So you were born in Puerto Rico. What is your relationship like with the island and with the people there? I'm a Puerto Rican girl, but I lived my whole life in Brooklyn, Bushwick. I just can't explain it how, every time I go to Puerto Rico, how I feel, how much pride I give Puerto Rico. And I'm sure your posters are all over boxing gyms in, in Puerto Rico. So what does that mean for you, that, that they put you on the, on the wall, they idolize you? Me and my sister, we brought the, the game of female boxing. We brought it up in Puerto Rico to have Young girls who go to a boxing gym and see a picture of a female champion, they can say, I can be like that girl. It's just an amazing feeling. In your 39 wins, 29 of those have been knockouts, and that's a very high knockout percentage. So where does the power come from? I don't know. I guess from the mofongo. Arroz con gandules. My power come from, I was born with power, I guess. I give it my all in every fight I have, and. I continue to break records and I want to become the first undisputed champion. You're taking on Daniela Bermudez. She's 31 years old. She's from Argentina. She's definitely a, a tough fighter. I know she's a come forward fighter and so am I. And she throws tons of punches and so do I. Uh, my punches are just a little harder. So it's going to be a, a great night of, of just nonstop punches. We're going to give the fans the best female fight that they've seen. What is that? What does that make you feel when you look back at your journey and, and, and where you are now? To be fighting main event in Puerto Rico in such a great platform, it's just super exciting for me. And I just I just hope that I can continue to open the doors for, for bigger and better opportunities for female boxing. The journey continues March 25th. Amanda Serrano, thank you so much for the time and best of luck. No, thank you so much for having me. Mm -hmm.